Today, we are going to finish lesson two, give the models a chance. So let's go to where we finished up yesterday. Activity 2.2, number two. 2.2, number two. Oop, there it is. Number two of activity two of lesson two. Page 536. Use the probability model to calculate each probability. So previously we were making the probability table. You also are responsible for knowing how to interpret or use a probability model that's already been made for you. Looking at the outcomes, the possible results from this experiment, we could get a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, or a seven. So we could just make up a situation and say that you have a deck of cards. Looking at our probability fractions, what do they all have in common? The denominators. Great job. What does the denominator tell us? How much it adds up to the total. You're both correct. So if we have a total of 12, how many of them are twos? One. One. How many of them are threes? One. Three. Three. Because we're looking at the numerator of our fraction. How many of them are fours? One. And fives? So, using what we were given, if we needed to, we could write our sample space. You can, you can draw it wherever. But I'm going to draw out the sample space. We know that there's one, two, three threes. One, two, three. Because our numerator is three for our outcome of three. Our numerator for our outcome of four is one, so there's only one four. Awesome, so there's five fives. One, two, three, four, five. One six, and one Seven. And if we have our sample space written correctly, how many numbers should we have total in our sample space? Twelve. Twelve, because that was our denominator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Using your probability model or your sample space, what's the probability of picking a three? Because there's three, one, two, three out of 12 total. We could also have just looked at the table. Find three, the probability of it, three twelfths. What's the probability of getting an eight? Zero out of 12. Zero out of 12, because there are no eights in our sample space. There's also no outcome of 8 in our table. 0 out of 12 or just 0. C, the probability of picking a number less than 8. So we need to think what numbers are less than 8. Two, three, so all the threes, four, all the fives, six, and seven. Those are all numbers that are less than eight. So that would be what probability? Twelve out of twelve, which is one whole. Great job. All of the outcomes 
are less than 8, which is why the probability is one whole, because it's all of them. Yesterday we started D. We talked about what makes a number a prime number. And just as a quick review, prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided by one and themselves. So numbers that only have one times themselves as factors. And we said that 2, 3, 5, and 7 are the outcomes in this experiment that are prime. And we get 10 out of 12. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 3's, so that's 4, 5, 5's, that's 9, and 1, 7. That makes 10. And then the last one, E, the probability of picking an even number. What are even numbers? So 2, 4, and 6, there's 1, 2. Actually, let's use our probability model so we can see what it looks like if you don't list out the sample space. So the probability of getting a 2 was 1 twelfth. Uh, let me zoom out for a second. Whew. The probability of getting a 2 is 1 twelfth. The probability of getting a 4 is 1 twelfth. And the probability of getting a 6 is 1 twelfth. What operation do you think we will do with these fractions? We are going to add them up. We have 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth is 3 twelfths. So if you didn't list out the sample space and you were only using the table, you could find the probability by adding the probability of each even number. Okay. Lesson 2, Activity 2.3 more with probability models. You are going to do this activity on your own. You can work with your group, um, but I'm not going to lead you through it. If you need help, I'll most definitely help you, but I'm not going to walk you through. Read the situation and answer these questions. When you get to number two, it's asking you to create a probability model. You are actually going to draw out that model. So the top will be your outcomes. What letter could their last name start with? Don't say it out loud. You're making the table. The bottom row is going to represent your probabilities. 